full details in the blog post linked in the description. The blog post will be kept up to date with any new details that appear. Check soundbar plug ports. The first thing to check is whether the cables are properly plugged in or not. Go over both ends of all HEMI and power cables. Besides, you need to pay special attention if you've got more than one HEMI port on your TV. Make sure to plug the soundbar HDMI cable into the port labeled out. Otherwise, the soundbar won't deliver sound as an output device. Many users overlook this detail, so they struggle with a silent soundbar. Reboot phone and Wi-Fi. In 9 out of 10 cases, you can expect Chromecast to work smoothly after you reboot the phone. If this doesn't work, reboot the Wi-Fi router. If you still have no success, then reboot Chromecast through the Google Home app or by unplugging Chromecast's USB cable. You can also hard reset your Chromecast, but keep this option till the end. Check connection settings. First, check that your VPN is turned off when trying to connect to Chromecast. Next, check that your phone is connected to the same network that Chromecast is using. To know your Chromecast's network, Use your Google Home app. Here are the steps to find the network name in the app. Find Chromecast inside your Google Home app. Tap Settings. Tap Device Information. Check the network name. Once you know the network name Chromecast is using, connect the phone to the same network accordingly. Reboot TV. In case the problem is caused by the soundbar, this method of rebooting the TV can help bring it back to work. Start by connecting the soundbar to ARC in port, digital in, on the TV. Then unplug all other devices, especially a DVD or Blu-ray player. After that, unplug both the TV and soundbar from the wall. Wait for about 10 seconds before you plug the TV and switch it on again. You need to give the TV some time to reboot before you switch on the soundbar again. Check HDMI cable. Today's entertainment devices heavily rely on HDMI cables, so you need to check them off your troubleshooting list. After making sure the soundbar HDMI cable is properly plugged on both ends, look for any damage indications on the terminals or the cable wire itself. If you don't spot a problem, your HDMI cable may be faulty. Instead, try the HDMI cable on another device. Similarly, check if the soundbar will work with a different HDMI cable. Make TV recognize soundbar. Even if your soundbar is properly plugged in, your TV software might not be able to detect the soundbar. If you've got a Samsung TV with one remote or an LG TV with a magic remote, you can easily make your TV recognize the soundbar from the settings. Simply head to the universal controls in your TV's menu to select the soundbar you're using. This will ensure the soundbar is properly connected and avoid other miscommunication issues. Use an optical cable. A rather common case for older soundbars is that the HDMI connection won't work properly. If so, we recommend using an optical cable instead. Admittedly, the optical cable won't give you direct control over the soundbar. Therefore, you'll have to use the soundbar's remote control. One thing to note here is that you need to adjust the soundbar audio settings. Make sure the audio format is set to PCM in sound settings. Test different devices and apps. You might still be unsure which device is causing the problem. So try a different phone or tablet. In case it still doesn't work, try switching between streaming apps like YouTube, Netflix, or Hulu. It's also possible that your Wi-Fi router might be causing the lag. If you faced regular issues with your internet on other devices, it might be time to get a new router for your Chromecast. Reboot the Chromecast. Often, an easy solution is to simply restart your Chromecast device. To do this, open the Google Home app, Touch and hold the device's title, tap settings, more settings than reboot. Alternatively, you can simply unplug the Chromecast for at least 60 seconds, which will reboot the Chromecast. Factory reset the Chromecast. 
As a last resort, you can also try factory resetting the Chromecast. While the device is plugged into the TV, hold down the power button for around 25 seconds. The device would flash red, then white. Once it flashes white and your TV goes blank, release the button. If you are still having trouble, there might be some additional solutions in the comments. I will also update the blog post, linked in the description, with any additional fixes that I find.